Welcome back everyone. Looking at the evening commute underway here in South Fargo. You can see a little bit more of that fall color within the trees in town as well. Still plenty of green though. 70 degrees. Moorhead at 70 as well. And let's talk about the wind. Out of the south, sustained at 21 miles per hour, gusting to 30 here in Fargo, gusting to 30 in Grand Forks as well, where we're seeing a current temperature of 71 degrees. That's one of the warmer spots in addition to Aberdeen, South Dakota, 72, the warmest spot in Sisseton, 66 Bemidji, Park Rapids, Detroit Lakes, Langdon as well, 64, the cool spot up in Roseau. As for winds across the region, lots of yellow on the map, which is showing gusts over 30 miles per hour, gusting to 33 in Jamestown, 36, the windiest spot currently in Langdon. More on the wind for tomorrow. There's a high wind watch in effect for all these orange shaded counties for a westerly wind, 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusts upwards of 55 miles per hour. This overlaps in some areas with a red flag warning because in addition to the high wind gusts, we're going to see relatively low humidities as low as about 25% within our viewing area, about 20% out west, which is going to lead to critical fire weather conditions. And then we've got a high wind warning, which includes Rollette County and the James River Valley in our viewing area and points off to the north and west. Gusts up to 65 miles per hour are going to be possible. So it's been breezy today, but very windy for tomorrow. Let's take a look at your first alert forecast. The breeze dies down briefly, but overnight we see more of that south wind picking up, but it's not until this front moves through tomorrow that we're going to see the wind shift from southerly to westerly and it's that west wind behind the cold front that is going to be very strong so windy in the morning but the strongest wind comes in the afternoon a few isolated hit and miss showers along with that front as well though most of us going to be dry before winds turn northwesterly into sunday so for tomorrow temperatures in the 60s and 70s for most of us a few north with the cloud cover and those isolated light showers, upper 50s to low 60s. And for Sunday, another windy day, as we just stated, but temperature is going to be colder or cooler on the backside of that low, a little closer to average for this time of year, 50s to low 60s. Your planning forecast shows plenty of warm weather still to come. Lots of sunshine throughout next week. Not nearly as windy as what we're going to see this weekend. In fact, so much warmth that will be near 80 degrees in some locations for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. The one thing we don't have in this forecast, Justin, is precipitation. We talked about it yesterday, the drought being reintroduced yep. in some parts of the region. And unfortunately, that's not going to get any better, at least over the next 11 days. A long dry stretch there. Thanks, mm -hmm. Summer. Hey, it is fall. October is here. We'll tell you where in Minnesota you can start seeing the leaves changing color in just two minutes.